as much as I enjoy it into this golf net over the last few days, I can't take it any longer. I've got to get out on the golf course. I'm off. No, I've not gone mad. It's, uh, I will not be going anywhere. We're well and truly on lockdown and the back garden is good enough for now. And I've got lots of content coming. We've got a launch monitor on the way and plenty of videos will be recorded this week. But in the meantime, for tonight, Jay Byrne, a long time uh, supporter of the channel, he had a great idea and suggested I put a uh, compilation together, I suppose, of some of the man versus golf, the best man versus golf hole challenges that I've played over the last uh, couple of years. So that's exactly what I've done. It's a great idea, at least I think it is, Jay. And I'm gonna go back to a place, start off uh, at a place where as soon as this lockdown is lifted, I can't wait to get back there. And that's at Royal Bled over at Slovenia. Let's have a look how I kick this one off. Next up on the challenge in the final hole, it's all square, it's hole 14 and wow, what a golf hole. I love the way they do this uh, two halves of the fairway uh, with the uh, grass mown in opposite directions. It looks so good from that aerial footage that you're watching right now. Uh, no shot, it's about 400 yards and believe me, it's, uh, I thought this would have been lower in the stroke index because down by the green, that's a narrow green and as ever, there's plenty of water around this uh, part of the course. Anyway, see if we can get off the tee with the driver, mini driver. Trying to hit that centre stripe and... We didn't quite manage the centre stripe but we're right hand side of the fairway. It's a good start, but it looks a long way from the green, but uh, we're going to get a yardage and see what I've got left. First part is achieved. Right, the first thing is I need to have words of someone like the stroke index on this hole because uh, I can't believe it's, I think it was 14, I can't remember. Uh, but water down the left, I've got about 170, 175 left in. I think the flag again is at the back end, so we're looking at uh, front short left is the best I can hope. I don't want to go long into that water. Right, there's a bit of a hesitation there because I knew I'd hit into a tree and I didn't see that come down at all and it's not too bad to be fair, hopefully you caught it on a camera we had planted here anyway. Uh, but yeah, heart in mouth for a little while, but still plenty of work because don't forget no shots here. So for the half I need to get up and down, be that'll that be for the half overall. Yeah, really pleased with that. Uh, like I said, on the greens it's so difficult and even there, as you see, I wait till the very end till that ball has come to a rest. But I've got a chance of a putt for a half, not only in this hole, but for the match. Please with that, put a smile on my face because I read it right and uh, I hit a good putt to finish off and that's a four, which is a half on this hole. Yet not a bad start, but what a great golf hole more importantly and just to see those places again and uh, realise what it is we're all just missing right now. Uh, it, it may be a tough watch, but it gives you at least a bit of hope that it's there. Sometime it's there and we'll get back. But next up, the chance continues and another one of the toughest courses I've played over the last couple of years, to be honest with you, and the first challenge includes another YouTuber, James Wiltshire. 
We had a bit of a match going on on one visit I played there, and uh, this is one of the holes. There's plenty. Go and check out James's channel. But this is one unreal par three over at uh, Westcliff. par three to finish and this green is mental you'll see when we get up there it's if you can get on the putting service that's one thing but we'll wait and see oh wow what a ball flight that is where is that oh it's carried it as well is that, what a golf shot mate that was a, probably the best iron of it in three days mate Jesus. wow I just thought it was going to come up short in that bunker, but it's it's carried it. I left myself a nice uphill board. So this is the most exposed bit on the whole golf course. Right? Yeah, we're sitting up high. Uh, there's a load of wind. I'm chipping a five iron. Chipping a five iron. Ah, yeah. oh, stunning, mate. It's a down ball. That could be too big, is it? That's big, you know. That's dead. That is literally dead. Is it? Mate, there is nothing over there. It literally just drops off down the right. And I've got no green to work with rather than. Just uh well, we've got to give it. So, so via that, I mean, this green is just insane. Yeah, this is the green I was telling you about. So, it literally slopes off. My putter's over there. You can see the severe slope down, which is what my ball has fed off. Um, but I think for James, he's got, I don't know, you've got a bit of a backstop, I think, you know. Yeah. I think. And it's a makeable shot if you can drop it in there. It doesn't. It doesn't run off. The, yesterday, the flag was over there. It was just. Yeah. If you went past the old, you were gone. Well. Needs to be in there, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just straightforward, mate. Man of your calibre. Look at that backdrop again. Stunning, isn't it? Westcliff's a proper golf course, you know. State. That's, that's done really well. It, another foot and it was gone. I take it you don't actually get a shot here, yeah? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't think so. Been a great birdie. Not much in that, is there? Well, it's a double breaker from 10 foot, yeah, straightforward. Double breaker from 10 foot. That's great, isn't it? Seriously, I think that may maybe if the camera doesn't sort of show off this, then you might think it's an exaggeration, but I don't know. Sit, come here and have a go. Oh, all day mate, well done, super shot, nice putt, great up and down. Yeah, well I've got to say, uh, I think analysis on that one, pretty poor putt from me and an unreal up and down from James, uh, pretty impressive that. Uh, last but not least, we're still at Westcliff. this was shot uh, the day 
prior, I think it was, I was with uh, another guy who does a lot of work on YouTube, which is Kevin Paver. He was playing, or he was behind a camera at least on this one. And uh, this is, without doubt, one of the toughest golf holes I have played. Uh, standing on the tee box, it is daunting to say the least. And the wind that you can't quite tell, I don't think, in terms of the audio as it plays today. The wind was howling in, and seriously, first shot on very difficult, second shot even more so, but have a look how this one works out. Right, so it's man versus golf hole challenge. We're at West Cliffs. I've played two warmer poles, or partly played them at least anyway. Uh, some drone footage going over for you now of what is a third. It's stroke index one, it's 365 yards. The wind is blowing into us. I don't know why I've chose this one as a challenge because it really seems tough. And as you can see, plenty of water down that right hand side with any good design golf hole, there's trouble down the left as well. So the only option is to try and find the middle of the fairway. I'm going with three wood. Just kiss that ball goodbye right now or so at the bunker I think it's uh I'd take the bunker any day of the week. I'll try and get uh, some shot tracer on it, but basically it stayed, it hung down the left hand side for quite some time and I don't know the yardages to the sand on the left, but that's not too bad. I think I'll have a fair bit of distance in because it's certainly hung in the wind, but I'm glad I'm not in the water. Right, so that's where my ball is, um, just perched up on the bank, but I'm going to show you where we're going because I can't actually see this from where I am, where we're going to plant the camera. That's the green plenty of uh, breeze on that flag and you can see water all on the right hand side so uh, again there's a front bunker left which uh, you'd take right now right okay so this is where we are proper good golf hole like I said let's just have a look and make sure yes so proper good golf hole this um, three wood I should have gone driver you needed that extra yard you've got 170 into this flag straight over the line of the bunker and uh, anything cutting too far left to right probably in the drink That's a pretty damn poor effort. It leaked way out to the right and that's a drop I'm afraid. Yeah, it was a pretty poor effort, leaked it way off the right and it was feeble. That's what I don't like, it's just uh, hitting a real sort of tentative shot and uh, I was beaten straight away as soon as that one left the club. So taking a drop, I've now got to make up and down for a half. CBX Cleveland Wedge helps me out again and I've got a chance there for a miraculous five. That's a pretty miraculous five and a great up and down. Really pleased with both those two shots, just one bad in the middle. But after one dunking in the water, I'll certainly take a half for my start in this Man vs Golf Challenge. Right, so that's it. The end of the first look back at Man vs Golf. And uh, please post in the comments down below, uh, first of all, whether you like the video and uh, whether you want to see more. Because it's a great opportunity to get some of these uh, put back together. Some of you may have seen them. I know watching them back, I'd forgotten some of them anyway. Uh, but there's an idea about putting maybe a series of these together and uh, taking a look back at just what we're missing at the minute. Anyway, as ever... Stay safe, thanks for watching, and uh, take care. That's me and you dumping. Yep, we're finished, kid. You're going for a walk? Yeah, you got your ears pricked up there, didn't you?